As a Jayhawk fan, you always have one game circled on your calendars every year. It's always the big rivalry with Kansas State. It's always the game you put your heart out and push that little bit extra every play. Reason being is that you want to show that you're the best college football team in Kansas. You want to show the whole nation that you are the best in the state. Welcome to 688 The Bull Kansas Jayhawk Football Press Conference with Kansas Head Coach Slacker Gaming Coach. Always a great rivalry between you and Kansas State. You feel like you have to motivate any of your players on rivalry weeks like this? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, the only thing we have to do is make sure that we can keep our composure and and make sure that we don't get too passionate and, and make just dumb mistakes and, and stuff like that. So uh, we just got to keep our head up and, and pay attention. And this is always, it's always a fun one though. You've pitched back to back shutouts. Do you think your team can go three in a row? I think we have proven our defense, what we can do. Uh, it's now up to the defense to, to keep just pitching the shutouts. I, I think, I, I think we can, but it's, it's not going to be easy to do uh, against Kansas state. So who, I mean, they're going to come in and be playing the hardest they can against us. It's a rivalry game. It's just, it's games like these that it's just hard to try to blank an opponent when Kansas State is usually playing above how they've played all year because it is a rivalry game. So um, it's unlikely, but uh, our defense could definitely do it. Kansas State comes into the game with a high-powered offense rushing attack. How do you think this stacks up against your defense? And do you think you need to change anything with the play calling? I think we have to keep to our assignments. Um, Will Howard, their quarterback, likes to run when he has a chance. So we need to make sure that we are paying attention to the quarterback at all times, but still make sure that we are wrapping up and clogging holes for the running backs. So um, this game will will test all aspects of our defense. So it really should be a good one. Thank you, coach, and good luck. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites the name of the rivalry just seems so calm the sunflower showdown trust me they won't be handing out bouquets to one another the jayhawks and the wildcats kansas and k-state gets kansas state gonna start off with the ball here on their 40 yard line guy in motion to the right side how we're gonna take the snap he's back looking he's looking scrambling. he's scrambling he's gonna run he's gonna break a tackle he's got the first down and more finally brought down after 15 yards on the rush by will howard you heard slacker gaming before the game say that they gotta make sure that they make tackles on this guy because he likes to run and just like that he has a big run there for kansas state First and 10, another guy in motion, checking to see if they're running man-to-man. -man. Howard going to fake the handoff, going to throw over the middle. He's got Baker wide open. He's up to the 20 and finally brought down after 29 yards. That play hit before anybody even saw what was coming. It's a quick slant route there. Caught wide open guy. Obviously, that's why they went in the man motion to see if it was man. They got what they wanted, and they attacked early. First and 10 from the about 16 yard line. The fake handoff. Howard going to keep this one. He's got a bunch of room. He's got another first down. About 14 yards in that rush by the quarterback. Again, you heard Kansas head coach soccer game. and said they got to stop the run. We haven't seen it yet. Second and goal for Howard. He's going to run this one in. Four yard touchdown run. It's hard to keep track of all the wide receivers and the quarterback that close to the end zone. And Kansas State strikes first. Make it score seven to nothing. Howard, another rush and another touchdown. Third and six, Blanton shouting out the play. Third and six, takes a snap. He's going to throw to his uh, tight end, Lawrence. Lawrence is going to get the first down, 13 yards on that reception. Up the middle for Adrian Lawrence. Third and seven for Blanton. We'll see what they got for the play call up here. Blanton's going to throw over the middle. He's going to find Lawrence again, and he's going to get brought down after 28 yards in Kansas. Down to the 25-yard line of Kansas State. Two big plays by the tight end. Blanton not able to complete any passes except to the tight end, Lawrence. This one's a big one. 
Blanton running them up to the line quickly. He's going to scramble right after taking the snap. Looking, looking, has all day. Finds Lawrence again, and Lawrence catches this at another first down. This one for 19 yards, and Lawrence already 60 yards on the game through the first drive. It seems like all that they're using is the tight end, and it's working out well down to about the 10-yard line. Second and goal for Kansas. Blanton and shotgun's going to pitch it to Zapp, and Zapp's going to get finally brought down, but he's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown, a three-yard touchdown run by Ben Zapp. You know, you know he's going to get the ball, but nobody has yet been able to stop him. Second and two for Kansas. Blanton going to hand this one off to Tom Rogers. Tom Rogers has got a big gap there. He's got 12-yard rush for him, the backup running back. First and 10 for Kansas over the middle line, and Rodgers is going to take this. He's got a fumble, and it looks like Kansas State able to come up with it. So Kansas with the first turnover of the game. They've been trying to do better with the turnovers, but this one comes from Tom Rodgers fumbling it after getting through the middle and just hit out by Kansas State. Kansas State going to take over in great field position. Second and five, Vaughn going to get the handoff. He's going to break a tackle. He's on the right side. He's up to the 40. And a huge gain for him, 20 yards for Deuce Vaughn on the right side. Hit at the line of scrimmage, but able to break the tackle and then was having to take down from behind from Kansas. Kansas State moving Again, on Kansas's defense, Will Howard, since the guy in motion, looking, he's going to be a run here up the middle, and nobody's going to get him. Finally brought down after a huge gain by him and Kansas State, first and goal. First goal from the five, Howard back. He normally runs it this time. He throws it, and he's going to find his guy, Keenan Gerbert, the wide receiver number one in Kansas State. Again taking the lead, 14-7 to seven on Kansas from the Kansas turnover. Kansas State turns it into points. Second and five. Blanton going to hand this one off to Tom Rogers back in the game. Wouldn't they just give him a rush there? Eight yards for him, making sure he can hold on to the ball the rest of the game. Third and two. Blanton back going to find Lawrence again. A big block up the middle. He's got a first down. 16 yards on the reception by Adrian Lawrence. The run after catch. Catches about two yards deep, but gets a block from the center and turns it into 16 for Kansas. Third and inches for Kansas. Guy in motion. Gonna hand off to Zap, and Zap not only gets the first down, but gets into the end zone for the Kansas touchdown. A four yard touchdown run by Ben Zap. Send him in motion. He just runs over everyone, and Zap with another touchdown, his second of the day. First and 10 for Howard after the fake, hands it, er, throws it over the middle. He's got a guy, but it's going to be broken or intercepted by Cole Moss. He's going to take this one back. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, and finally brought down after a huge interception by Cole Moss. Didn't look like he was going to be able to get it, but he catches up with the wide receiver. The ball thrown under. Cole Moss intercepts it and runs back for a pretty big return there, and Kansas going to to start with the ball from about the 30-yard line of Kansas State. First and 10 for Blanton from the 16-yard line. Going to hand it off to Zap up the middle. He's got a big rush, and he's up over the middle and 13-yard rush down to about the 2-yard. And it's going to be first to goal for Kansas. Blanton going to fake the handoff and keep this one, and he strolls into the end zone for the touchdown. Jax Blanton with the option, deciding to keep it Kansas 21, Kansas State 14. 10 seconds left to go, third and 21. We'll see what Blanton can do if he just throws it deep. He will know, he gives it to Zap, and Zap runs out at about the four yard line, and it's gonna be fourth and 17, and this is gonna be about a 65 yard field goal by Berg. It's up and good! He nails a 65 yarder, Kansas! Adds three at the end of the half. You didn't think the four yards meant anything, but Zap able to get four yards, and that four yards was Kansas all the difference in that 65-yard field goal by Berg. 
We are at the second half, third and five for Blanton, changing the play. We'll see what he comes up with here. Blanton's going to have to scramble. He's got a bunch of rushes. He finds Zap out of the backfield. He's got the first down, 16 yards for him. Ben Zap being better this year at, at catching, receiving the routes have all been better, and his quarterback finds him here for the first down when his quarterback was coming with the blitz, or the defense was coming with the blitz. A beautiful job by Blanton. Blanton back, throws over the middle, finds Moore, Justin Moore, and he's about down to the, about the two-yard line. He just beats his guy, and Blanton just waits for him. Get over the middle, he gets there. Perfect ball thrown there for Justin Moore, down to the two-yard line. Zap back in the Wildcat. You know he's getting it, but they still can't stop it. Ben Zap, the one-yard touchdown run. That's his third of the game. Kansas is going to go up 31-14. On the ground today for this young man. Howard, the head coach. Will Howard, third and two for him. Going to throw quickly to his uh, wide receiver. Breaks a tackle. He gets on the left side. 12-yard rush for him. I believe it's a rush and not a pass attempt. But Kansas State, either way, going to have to kick the the touch or the field goal here on fourth and eight for them. We'll see if they can kick it long enough. Looks like this is going to be about a 50-yarder. It's up and good. And Kansas State could add three to that, making the score 17 to 31, trying to keep it within a strikeable amount. Two touchdown lead there for Kansas. Third and 18, Howard after the sack. He's going to throw over the middle. He finds Baker. Baker is going to get it, but he's not going to get the first down. Only 16 yards on that. Fourth and two. We'll see if Kansas State goes for it. 7.39 left on the clock. Fourth and two. Will Howard going to try to get the first down here. I believe this is a Baker break. First down. Kansas State keeps going. Tucker up the middle gets it, but he finds Baker in his tight end. And Ryan Baker gets a nine-yard run or nine-yard catch there for the first down and Tucker hurt on the play a huge spot in this Kansas defense we'll see if they miss him Keenan Garber gets 15 yards on that pass to the right side Will Howard beautiful job done by him already has a touchdown on the day Will Howard under center is going to fake the handoff to Vaughn. Looking, looking, and it's going to be a sack. And it's going to be a fumble. And Kansas able to jump on this one. And Kansas forcing the fumble and getting the recovery. A huge play by this Kansas defense. You've, you've seen them make big plays all year. And nothing bigger than that in the moment. Kansas going to have the ball up. 31, 17, 645 left to go in the game. After the turnover here, Clayton, the backup quarterback in, he's going to pitch it to Zap. Zap's going to get a block. He's a 30, the 25, down to the 20, 27-yard rush by Ben Zap on the option play. You've seen Kansas do this all year with Clayton. Their backup quarterback is a better option person, and this time Zap sprung for 27 yards on the run. Third and 10 for Kansas. Blanton in shotgun. Zap next to him. Going to take the snap. Going to go scramble to the right. Blanton looking. He's going to keep it. And four-yard rush on that. Fourth and six. We'll see what Kansas does if they elect to take the three points or try to go for it. Looks like the field goal is going to be up and good. And Berg hit a 65-yarder earlier. This is a chip shot for him. 5.05 left to go after the quick three and out by Kansas State. Blanton back. He's going to find Zap again in the 50, the 40, the 35, 30, 25. Finally brought down from behind, but not after a 50-yard throw to Zap. I believe Kansas State basically was like, oh, they're running it. With, four, with five minutes left to go in the game, up 34-17. They're running it, and Zap gets a 50-yard pass from Blanton to set Kansas up. Three minutes left to go. Blanton going to throw it to Zap again, this time for 11 yards, and Zap getting in the receiving yards today. Blanton doing a good job finding him. Zap going to get this handoff from about four yards out, and you know what he does. He gets into the end zone for another touchdown and actually ties the game or ties a single game rushing touchdown record with himself, and that's going to be it. Your player of the game, Ben Zap, a bunch of carries, four touchdowns for him, and he did it. 
through rushing, and he did it in the air with receiving as well. Kansas going to end up winning this one 41-17 on the rival Kansas State in Manhattan. Kansas, a very good game on offense and a pretty good game on defense, even though they weren't able to pitch a shutout. Welcome to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio with Kansas head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, no shutout this game, but the defense still looked pretty dominant, giving up less than 200 total yards. How do you feel like they did today? Defensively, we we did okay. I, I think that there were a few big plays we we would have wanted back, but that happens when you play a team where the quarterback can run. So you're you're gonna give up some of those chunks of yardage sometimes. But I, I like the way the defense uh, competed today and and got a few big turnovers to help our help our offense out. Speaking of offense, Zap ran for four touchdowns on the ground and had over 25 carries in the game. Where were you seeing to keep him on the ground so much? Uh, the biggest thing was that he was continuing to gain yardage. I think he had, what, over five yards of carry, and we just kind of rode that into the end zone. And uh, we we passed very well today, and he had a lot of yards through through the through the air as well. And I think it really helped opening the running lanes, and, and Zap just kind of did the rest, kind of did his thing. Your team only had 12 completions, but still had 222 yards through the air. What led to the big plays? I, I think today was the perfect mix of rushing and passing, and our our play callers were on point today. And it, it seemed like every time we passed, they were expecting runs, and, and the plays were were open and and when they thought we were passing we ran the ball so it was just kind of an all-around great day on offense and we were able to take advantage and, and get some big plays thank you so much coach kansas wins this iteration of the sunflower showdown versus in-state rival kansas state with the score of 41 17 behind a great offensive performance by ben zap they will improve to 10 and 0 on the season and will be taking on the powerful offense from Iowa State next week in Lawrence. This is 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio, and we will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any more Kansas rebuild action. If you're just now finding this video, make sure you check out the description below. There's a whole playlist of everything in the whole rebuild for Kansas. So make sure you go back and watch it to know what's going on. Till next time, Slacker out.